Today I'll be teaching Uncle Tom's Cabin by Warrant. I first heard this song on the radio and I fell in love with it. So I looked up covers of the songs to see if I can learn it myself and I couldn't find anyone particularly teaching the beginning acoustic solo right at the beginning of the song. So I decided to transcribe it myself and today I'll be teaching it. So I'm just going to play it and then I'll teach it. Okay, so I've, I've divided the song into sections, and I'll be teaching it section by section. So the first section goes like this. So that's the first few notes of the solo. So it begins playing um, the note on the 4th fret of the G string, and the 5th fret on the B string. So you play those notes at the same time. Okay? And then you play the 7th fret on the G string, and you pull off to the 4th fret on the G string. So pull off. So the whole thing goes like this. Okay? The next part goes like this. Okay? So that starts with the third fret on the B string, open G, second fret on the D string, third fret on the A string. So Okay? And then second fret on the D string. And then you play the open G and hammer on to the second on the G. So. Right? And then you play the third one on the B again. And second fret on the G. And then the second fret on the D. So. And then open G. Second fret on the D. And then 2nd fret on the G, open G, and then 2nd fret on the D. So it goes like this. Okay, so both parts go like this. Alright, now the third part goes like this. Alright, so that starts with an open E. 2nd fret on the A, 2nd fret on the D, so, and then you play the 4th fret on the D, and pull off to the 2nd fret on the D, and then pull off to open D, so, okay, and then you're playing 3 notes at the same time, 2nd fret on the G, 2nd fret on the B, and 2nd fret on the E, so, and then you pluck the low E string twice. Right, so. Right. And then you play the 4th fret on the G. Slide to the 2nd fret on the G. And then, ha and then pull off to open. So. Alright. And then you play the 2nd fret on the D. So all three parts sound like this. goes like this. Alright, so that starts with the 2nd fret on the G, and you can play the open B as well. So, then you play the 3rd fret on the G, and then you play the 4th fret on the G, but then you also incorporate the high E string. So, alright, then you do something similar to that with the 2nd fret on the G, with the open B, and then you skip to the 4th fret on the G, incorporating the open E, so. Alright. And then you do three notes here, 4th fret on the D, 4th fret on the G, and 3rd fret on the B. 
you play those three notes. You, yeah. And you can incorporate the open E as well. Alright? And then you play the fourth fret on the G, slide to the second fret on the G, pull off to open, G, and then second fret on the B, on the D. So And then when you play the second fret on the D, you can just go into an E chord and play the first few notes. So that whole first um, part of the solo goes like this. Now here comes the next third of the, of the solo. It sounds like this. Okay, so that starts off with the first part, which sounds like this. So that starts on the third fret of the E string, and then you stretch to the seventh fret on the E string. Then you play the fourth fret on the A string, and then seventh fret on the A string. So sound like this. You play the seventh fret on the D string, and the sixth fret, and the fifth fret on the D string. And then you play the seventh fret on the A string. So, so the first part. And then you play the third fret on the E. Play it again. 2nd fret on the A string, 5th fret on the A string, slide to the 7th, and then 5th uh, fret on the D string, and then 5th fret on the A string, slide to the 7th. So. And then you play the 5th fret on the D string, 7th fret on the A string, 7th fret on the D string, 5th fret, fret on the D string, and 7th fret on the A string. So, so, so far it sounds like this. Alright, and then you play the 3rd fret on the E again, and 2nd fret on the A, and 5th fret on the A, and do that again. So. And then you slide to the 7th on the A, 7th fret on the D, so. And then you play the 5th fret on the D string, and slide back to the 7th on the D. So, so far it's only like this. Alright? And then you play the 5th fret on the D, 7th fret on the A, okay, and then 7th fret on the D, 5th fret on the D, and 7th fret on the A. So, and play that again. So seven foot on the D. So it sounds like this so far. Okay, and now here comes the fast part, which goes like this. So you start with the fifth fret on the E, sixth fret on the E. 7th fret on the E, 5th fret on the A, 6th fret on the A, 7th fret on the A, so, and slide from 7 to 9 on the D string, back to 7, 5th fret on, fifth fret on the D string, and then 7th fret on the A string, so, okay, and then you play the 7th fret on the D string, 5th fret on the D string, back to 7 on the A. So. Okay, so the whole thing sounds like this. And then you play the 5th fret on the D again. Okay, so that's the 2nd 3rd of the acoustic solo. So both parts together, slowly, would sound like this.
last third, you just repeat the first part. So you just do this again. Okay? And that's the, that's the end of the acoustic solo, Twinkle Tom's Cabin by Warrant. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. That was my rendition of the acoustic solo. And I hope... You know, you can learn something from this video. And I'll just play the whole thing one more time slowly and then at full speed. speed would sound like this. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and could learn something from this video. Thanks.